And we begin with the campaign for the presidency. The race looking different for both parties tonight. Donald Trump victorious in the South Carolina primary. His whole family there to celebrate with him. That win by double digits. But the fight for second place came down to just over a thousand votes. Senator Marco Rubio edging out Senator Ted Cruz. Also tonight, any hope of another Bush presidency now over Jeb bowing out. ABC's Jonathan Carl in Washington tonight. We had such an amazing victory yesterday. Incredible. Donald Trump is now unmistakably on top. Tall people, short people, fat people, skinny people. Just one. He was on such a high last night after winning in South Carolina, he briefly turned over the mic to his camera shy wife, Melania. He would be the best president. And his very pregnant daughter, Ivanka. The momentum since the beginning of this campaign has been unbelievable. Trump's South Carolina victory was a clean sweep, scoring all 50 of the state's delegates. He even came out on top with evangelical voters. You know, I didn't know I was going to win by that much. Uh, and we won by a lot. That was sort of record setting stuff. With Jeb Bush calling it quits, the battle to become the Trump alternative pits the two Cuban American freshman senators against each other. Marco Rubio narrowly edged out Ted Cruz for second place in South Carolina. And while both were beaten badly by Trump, Rubio sees reason for hope. We need to remember here, over 70% of Republicans nationally have basically said we're not voting for Donald Trump. Donald Trump continues to say Ted Cruz is ineligible to be president because he was born in Canada. And today on This Week, George pressed him on something he retweeted that suggested Rubio, who was born in the USA, is also ineligible. You're really not sure that Marco Rubio is eligible to run for president? You're really not sure? I don't know. I, I really, I've never looked at it, George. Honestly, I've never looked at it. Uh, somebody said he's not, and I retweeted it. We start dialogue, and it's very interesting. Rubio laughed it off. You know, we just heard Thank you. Uh, Donald Trump say he's not sure you're eligible to run for president. Your response? <laughs> well, this is, look, this is a pattern. This is a game he plays. I'm going to spend zero time on his interpretation of the Constitution with regards to eligibility. Trump will have a chance to show even more momentum in just two days. On Tuesday, Republicans vote in the Nevada caucuses. And Tom, the latest polls there show Trump with a big lead. And John, on that point, let's bring in ABC News political analyst Matt Dowd. Now, Matt, Trump has been winning with Trump. Does he now need a strategic game plan as he heads into Super Tuesday after Nevada on Tuesday? The fascinating thing about Donald Trump is that he's had a better strategic and gut sense of the GOP primary than any other candidate running, including the political dynasty that has been left in shatters in South Carolina after the course of the Bush, after the Bush loss. I think Donald Trump, if he keeps winning, it's a winning begets winning and momentum is a huge thing as we go into these national primaries in this course of this race. Three things if I were Donald Trump. First, I would start having language that consolidates the party and brings, brings people together. Second, stop with the insults. There's no need for that anymore. And third, spend a little time preparing for the debate this week. If he does well at that debate, he sets himself up to possibly run the table on Super Tuesday. All right, we'll see if he changes. Matt, thanks so much.